Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am bringing you my foundation drugstore full coverage tutorial and this is it. I hope you guys are so excited like I was. I am super excited excited to show you guys what I use and like on my everyday type daily and if you guys do want to see a video on how I use like just um concealers to do like a quick um foundation or like you know a go-to my go-to fast routine let me know down in the comment section or giving this video a huge thumbs up so if you guys are interested in what products i use then of course just keep on watching i am going to be doing an updated foundation routine i feel like my foundation routines definitely change within months just because so much makeup has been coming out so much foundations have been coming out primers powders etc so I have been sticking to this particular foundation routine for the past like three months. What I like to do first is I like to moisturize my skin. So for moisturizer, oh my god I almost dropped it. For moisturizer I like to use my Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue um, Gel Cream. So this is a gel consisten consistency cream. I'm like literally so out of it like almost almost. I do have... Um, oily skin in the beginning whenever I was starting to learn about makeup and start doing my own makeup I used to never moisturize just because I would think in my head that oh if I use a moisturizer um, On top of my oily skin, it's going to be more oily and that's exactly what happened But the only reason why it happened was because I was using a wrong moisturizer so if you do have oily skin I definitely recommend you guys to use like a gel consistency like what I have on my face right now just because it won't be too oily and like too heavy on top and if you do have dry skin I definitely recommend you guys to use more of a like um lotion type of consistency so before I used to use I still have it because you guys know I do have my clients on the side so um I used to use a Nivea cream lotion and the men's one i don't know that was like a big thing back then um but it's like a lotion consist consistency so it would literally be oil on top of oil and my face would literally be greasy within like two hours like literally i was doing the most <laughs> like no so what i found out later on was of course you i have to use like a very light moisturizer and i still have to moisturize guys you still need to moisturize even if you do have oily skin don't forget of course moisturizer is going to help your skin look very fresh very like clean and just like ready for everything to put be put on your face next what i like to do is i like to apply my red redness relief by hard candy now this one is just like i don't even know why i apply it but it's in my foundation routine and i'm gonna show you guys like the real tea like the real thing so this definitely i feel like it's not really helpful for my redness i do have a little bit of redness here and then i did try it by itself like no foundation just you know going out to do some errands and not wearing foundation because believe it or not i am a little self-conscious about my red cheeks just because i look like a tomato <laughs> so i did try it on um without any foundation and i really didn't see a difference um maybe just a little bit but nothing like too way like dramatic so i still like putting it on because my face feels super hydrated it feels super cooling on the skin and it kind of leaves it kind of tacky so perfect for the primer and for the foundation on top next I know guys it's like a lot of process so what i like to do next is i like to spray my face with my mario badescu spray i finally got a good one a big one they were out of stock in the cucumber scent and i don't like any other scents besides cucumbers like the rose one gives me headaches um they did come out with an orange one i haven't tried that so let me know if you guys do have that one so now that my skin is like ready and like really prepped i'm gonna let like this all sink in for like a couple minutes so mientras i get cheese mad or check up on the phone guys i cracked the back of my phone look it is actually so sad <laughs> i just dropped it Hey guys you should add me on snap i am pretty cool over there and my instagram and yeah <laughs> so next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start priming my face with an actual primer so you can definitely use any type of primer but my favorite per my personal favorite one at the moment is the elf poreless putty primer and this is how it looks like i definitely love their 
e.l.f.'s primers. I use the Pore Poreless Primer, like, it's like the same thing. The one with the bottle, the pink bottle. I used to use that, and I do have it, and I still love it. But this has just been, like, my go-to. It's a putty primer, so it does feel, like, kind of, like, weird and... FYI, I'm sorry for my nails. Like I was telling you guys, I've been giving my nails a little break. So, yeah. What I like to do is I like to really focus this in, in my pore area. And for some reason, it does look like it's kind of dewy. So, you might be like, oh, my face is going to feel like it's going to be more oily. Because, like I said, if you put oil on top of oil, you're going to look like a great spa. But... To me, it does not leave my face oily. It actually feels really tacky. Um, I was loving the Catrice one, and I still do. I have it, like, right here. Um, but this one, I noticed that it's not tacky. And, like, I was telling you guys, and I've been telling you guys, for a primer to be tacky, it's, like, the best. Because it works so good whenever applying your foundation. It really, like, sticks on and, like, doesn't, like, move around or, like, budge around. So... I applied this primer basically all over my face, but I really like focusing it on my pore area. And whenever my foundation is on, I do see that my face is like super seamless and smooth. And I think it's because of this primer, to be honest, just because it's that good. And it's from the drugstore. And now for foundation, my favorite, favorite combo. And I say combo because... I don't know what is going on with my nose area. So for some reason, my nose area, every time I apply like a little bit of foundation, it kind of like doesn't stick on. Not, it doesn't flake. It kind of just, I don't know. I guess you can say it flakes. So I've been obsessed with my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This one is in shade F7. And with this one... I used to, whenever I first tried it, I hated it. I was like, what the heck? Like, my whole foundation is just flaking off. But it's just because I was using a very um, matte primer. And I really wasn't prepping my skin like these steps. So this foundation is very, very matte, guys. So FYI, like I said, oily skin. It's perfect for me. Um, and then my other one that I like to use is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And this one is in shade one. 20 and with this i like to apply this one particular right here and then this one i like to apply like all over my face like the perimeter just because this one does not stick on my nose area i don't know why i don't know why so for my sponge of course i like to wet it with my more Badescu spray but you guys already know this is my favorite sponge ever the morphe sponge it's so perfect for under the eyes for around the brows underneath for the contour like if it's like every angle so now i'm just going to apply a little bit of my foundation i think this is the wrong shade hold on yes because i have two foundation shades with their foundation ranges though um it kind of runs a little weird do you guys see that kind of runs a little weird so just giving you guys a little heads up full coverage foundation right away my bracelet right away you can tell like how much it covered how much redness it covered which is a bonus for myself another quick tip is that you do have to work kind of fast with this foundation because it like dries up really quickly and then just put my Maybelline foundation on top like to grab my favorite white bees and my favorite white bees are from parent choice these are my favorite wipes to remove my makeup um they're so like gentle on my skin and of course my favorite makeup remover is my garnier skin active micellar bottle like this is the huge one they came out with like a bigger one this is like ten dollars i think but literally they do that forever like the whole year i'm kidding <laughs> but what i like to do is if i am going to cream contour for example i like to do that first and then do my concealer so i might do that just to do the whole shabam here and show you guys what i like love to do for like a full coverage foundation routine so i'm going to be using my wet and wild um contour stick in the shade call me maple and what i like to do is i like to i used to kind of lower my contour right here i like to just put it higher like that and then my forehead area and a little bit on my chin so 
Now I like to just grab my sponge and I start off with my chin. And then while blending my contour on my cheeks, I like to raise up the product. So I'm blending upwards and bouncing my sponge. Not really dragging my sponge just because we don't want the foundation to move. We're just bouncing the sponge up. Concealer under your eyes. So for concealer, I like to go in with um, Makeup Revolution in the shade C3. And this is like, I think running out yes i have like five thousand of them so here's another one this is brand new i like to just rude motorcycle i like to go under my eyes to conceal and like really brighten so you can look really highlighted and then i like to go in a little bit of color pop and with this i like to put it on the bridge of my nose concealing and cream contouring we need to set the spots where we did that just because if we don't it's either going to crease under a fine, li fine lines or it's going to move around during the whole day if we don't um set it with powder so what i like to do first is i like to go in and then just blend out any line or crease that we created or that happened while i was talking um with the concealer and then i like to set it with my favorite powder which is my airspun loose powder and this one is in translucent extra coverage this one does not for me have flashback contouring i'm going to be using my wet and wild contouring palette in the shade caramel toffee I'm using my luxie m i keep saying m 522 brush or my morphe um 50 m 405 but this one is like a contouring brush but lately i've just been like loving how precise it gets like on my cheekbones so i'm just gonna use this one for today actually how do you guys feel about my lighting is it too light that you guys can't even see or what are you guys thinking I feel like it's too light that you guys can't even see that I'm like doing my stuff. So then I like to go back in with my powder and cut my contour. And this is going to give it like an illusion of skinnier cheeks. And it's going to look so perfect. So I love doing this. With my Milani Luminoso blush, I've been back on this. And I just like to apply just a tiny bit. For some reason, I haven't been feeling my blush. So much powder and just so much we have done to our face. Our face might feel a little like powdery and heavy. So what I like to do is I like to go back in with my Mara Badescu spray. And then grabbing my sponge and then just pushing the product in. I like to grab my Wet n Wild um, highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown. And once my face is still like a little damp, this highlighter is going to be popping. Girl, popping. We are completely done. We are still missing, of course. Setting spray. So for setting spray, I like to go with my Milani, my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And this is how it looks like. If you guys do have um, dry skin, they do have a Make It Dewy setting spray and this one is like my favorite thing ever like if you are going to go party if you're going to you know do your dirty shit if you're going to be out and about the whole night the whole day set your face with this and your makeup will literally last the whole day for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed my drugstore foundation routine full coverage foundation routine i absolutely love this routine and i've been loving it like i said for the past couple months i hope you guys do try these products out or let me know down in the comment section what are your favorite must like to go uh products for your foundation routine from the drugstore or from the high end of course i love you guys also very much thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on my next one bye babes